today we're doing a really discombobulated piece on Hyde Street, that's number one. Graffiti, that's number two. Show me the inside of your house. We go inside three houses. All of them have someone named Jay, except for my house, which is just my house. And then we ask people questions. Maybe we run into some surprising people. Maybe we learn some personal stories about people's lives. Who really knows what we're getting up to today? Not us. Whoa. Check this out. Whoa. Out. This is my little man cave. This is all you? This is all me. Wow. Um, yeah. I got it is like signs like here. Uh, we're going to end the video. Yeah, That's right. so cool. What do you got in there, man? Check put, the, put them on the mic. Yeah. What What? Can you tell us a little bit about your shop here? Your museum? Yeah, it's, uh, it's just, it's a man cave. And uh, I got all this that I made. And I actually put this all together. So I'm pretty impressed of what I do. I got a lot of coat collections and um, my Tweety Bird and <laughs> Tasmanian Devil um, signs and stuff. Where, where do you get most of your stuff? Goodwill. Nice. Yeah, I did a lot and I used to work for them. I still do in the end. I mean, I had to stop because of uh, old age. But other than that, I mean, I did all of this, so I was pretty amazed at myself. Yeah. You know, I created it, so. And, uh, of course, you know, you have to listen to that. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And then. Um, do you have a favorite piece? Yeah, them two to start. Mm -hmm. And then this one. And that were my rules. What uh, inspired you to put it together? My wife. Is your wife, is your wife here? No, she's deceased. She passed last year with stage three lung cancer. So, but she inspired me. Oh yeah. And part of this too. Oh yes, and I did it for her. She asked me to. We didn't want to smoke in the house anymore, so we ended up. Doing, I doing this for her, and she was the loved one with my heart. So I gave her, and she loved it. I mean, I heated it all up. I had two parts of uh, up in the curtains up here, drapes, I should say. And I had them velcroed. Yeah, I put this all together. So that's what love does to you. Yeah, it's really. What, what was your wife like? Down to earth girl, just down to earth girl, and worked hard and got hardly anything for it, but it all paid off in the end because we both won. So that was really sweet. I came up here in 2010 to start a new life, and it worked out good for me. Was she here? Yes. We, I used to know her back in the day when we were younger. Her and her husband were my best friends. So we ended up knowing each other that way, uh, practically related, but we weren't related. So, and when she was a young girl, like 18, I had a crush on her. She had a crush on me, but she couldn't do nothing because she was already married. So, and then years later, I ended up coming up here and meeting up with her. It worked out for both of us. We were married for eight years. Yep. Yeah. She helped me, I helped her, and we had a beautiful life. That's all it took. Now I'm all by myself. Yeah. yeah. I do all this stuff. Yeah. Um, where are you from? Alberg area. Yeah. And now I'm up here in Burlington. I will never go back there because there's nothing there. So up here, it's all nice. And uh, you can at least make a dollar up here. Where down there, I couldn't. So. I, Pretty proud. Yeah, really. My wife loved me awful, so and I gave her what she wanted in life and made everything work. I even invented this, my wow. little towel rack. Uh, so yeah, I mean, 
that we I wish I had one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And I put the drawer in here. How do you get it on there? Take, pull it up. Oh shit, you like... Pretty cool, huh? So, I'll push it back down. Come on. But yeah, I, <laughs> I did a lot in the house too. I mean, I got a lot more in the house. How long have you lived here? I've lived here since 2010. Everything's been pretty much a couple years ago. You notice that's awful yellow because of cigarette smoke. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I kept the plastic on it just because uh, I claim them as my brothers. Is your brother? No. Oh. <laughs> that's a th right. So I mean, I just claim them as my brothers. So. Do you? Is this like a living piece? Like, do you keep adding to it, or is it kind of set the way? Yeah, but I have to stop because I'm getting a little carried away as you notice I keep collecting things I mean I just keep going I every nick and cranny wherever I can put something and you'll notice that in the house if you go in um, I did that too in the house and now I'm in the process now of fixing painting up the bedroom because we wouldn't smoke in the house we didn't get to finish it so now I'm in the process of finishing it because now I can stay at home collect unemployment and then go back to work in the spring so that'll make it nice what do you do for work? i work for burlington parks and rec cool. yeah, very nice people to work with what do you do for them? i pick up trash and recycle into 22 parks in burlington wow. yeah i pick up all the trash and recycle and anything else that's in the park that don't belong how do you feel about graffiti do you see it as art some of it some of it yeah it's beautiful I mean as long as they don't get the other way with it um, I love it I think it's really nice especially on the store down the road you know how he did it it's really nice I like it all so and I don't that's not that's a different department that takes care of that I don't I don't uh, clean up things for graffiti but the other person does but I've been there with them now for like eight years so, yeah, I'm pretty much family. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Can't wait to go back in the spring. Yeah. Keep me going active. Um, do you, are you like outside most of the time? Yes, yeah. all the time. Um, I have to hop in the truck and go pick up trash and recycle. Yeah. So. What's your favorite part of the job? Slacking off. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, getting the job done for them. And they're happy. My boss don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about me not being there. I'm there, and they like that. So I ain't. I don't think I missed three days in eight years. So, and I worked six months out of the year. Wow. Just about six months. So, I got one more. Um, I did get picked with a needle, and out of trash. Um, yeah. Well. Yeah. But they tied it. I tied the bag up, and I pulled it out, and when I did. It went down my leg, so it scraped me. So I had to go get shots and stuff. I got Monday. I go for the last one. Apparently, I ain't got nothing, so I'm all good there. Yeah. But pretty nice. I mean. What's your favorite thing about Women. I'm sorry. I have to say it like it is. I mean, no, actually, I like the atmosphere and the people. Um, this street has been horrible at times, but it's been good too, you know, so um, If I had any place to live I'd live right here Because it's so nice and we just had a guy move in right here on the side of me And he's already gonna fit. Yeah. Oh, yeah What is the street like? Can you describe it? Have fun be happy. That's all I can say Do you know a lot of your Absolutely. I know I'm more so. <laughs> I live four houses down right now. Which way? Okay. Yeah? Cool. We'll have to come down sometime. I have a few toddies. Yeah, me and cigarettes don't get along. I gave them up after 50 years. I've had three, four heart attacks, so 
but they were mild and I took care of them at home and I woke up that last time and I said, you know, I'm not going to put a cigarette back in my mouth again. My wife died of stage 3 lung cancer. And if you've seen what they took off her lung, you wouldn't put a cigarette in your mouth. It's scary. That's how bad it is. Yeah. So, well, I tried to inspire her to quit, but no, she wouldn't quit. So, I gave her her desires and it's terrible. I'm glad I got a wake-up call, really. I, that's the bottom line. I plan on going back to work some more. I gotta, I gotta start staying home, putting on weight again, and oh, I don't like it. You know, but that comes with the age. And these are the best things to have. Mick Ultra in uh, Climato. Yeah. It's almost like a tomato juice, but it's not. It's, it's, yeah, and it's really, Yes, and it's really good. Uh, over on your side, over there. Oh, there's a pen. Should be a wheel over there. Yeah. So. And I did this too. I mean, this is um. Oh, nice. Watch your foot. No. You play chess. You need to play chess or checkers. Nice. You know? You got a little cover for it. Yep. That's nice. And I fixed that. Sweet. Yeah, like, huh? Taped down pretty securely. Yeah, and that's only the blue tape. It'll never move. Right. Yeah, and I just squish it under when I ain't using it. Yeah, sweet. I'm pretty creative. You are. I, can I love it. Yeah. Yeah. you always been creative, or is it? I've always been creative. Yeah. This is the most I've ever put out in my life because I've always been a hard worker. So, but. Is, is that you and your wife's initials? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. J and S. J and Sally. I put that up there like that, just so I can even put it down. I velcro it, so I'm gonna have to. Very cute. Privacy. Yep. Well, all the privacy you need. Just like another room. The only thing is, it's not insulated. Mm -hmm. It's not insulated. Right, so yeah. You keep so. the door open often? Yeah, especially uh, when it's nice out. Uh, yeah. What about it? No. Oh. Does it look like this? No, no, we oh, oh, all right. I'll put. I'll give it back to you. I'm an Indian giver, by the way. I want it back. That's so much. Pretty cool. Hey, you guys gotta stop in more often. I'm more busy all the time. Uh, there you go. And I'm Jay. Mac. 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 Okay. I'm brother. You're what? Brooke. G or J A Y? J A Y. Yeah. Sweet. We should probably head. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for chatting with us. Hey, no problem. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. I don't feel so bad now. <laughs>
Um, it's really not the hill for me, to be completely honest. Of all the issues that Burlington has, I don't think it matters. We have a lot of lovely street art, and it's just like a bit of a bummer when that gets painted over with just like a tag, but beyond that, um, yeah. What is the hill you would die on? <laughs> oh, I say this a lot. What was it? Gorillas aren't real. That's my most recent one. Yeah. It's just a guy in a suit. Those are real animals. <laughs> Um, have you witnessed the magnum opus Spongebob? No, I didn't watch Spongebob as a kid. I was a door girl. Me neither. Yeah, right? <laughs> Are you aware that there were um, gorillas in suits in that television piece? The gorillas were in suits? Like, as gorillas? No, no. P- people or gorillas would wear s- fish suits so that they could pretend to be the fish. <laughs> No, but that's excellent. <laughs> Do you think that perhaps maybe we are actually gorillas? <laughs> no, because we're pretending to be the gorillas. It's the gorillas that aren't real. I don't know if we're real or not, but that's like a different conversation. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Hi, I think I have some of Jay's too. This is where I practice designing tags and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You might see this guy places. He's around. Yeah. Mothman. Mothman. Jay, you got one, right? Uh, yeah. And then these are both Jay's. The rust. Yeah. Only in orange orange paint, right? Only orange paint. Yeah. Oh yeah, orange paint on what? On metal. Inside our house, um, we have uh, like the crayons that you that kids use for bathtubs. Uh, we have that on the walls of our shower. If y'all want to see that, we like to tag it. No, it is in the bathroom. <laughs> our shower is in the bathroom. I'd be down. Also, I realize that this is not an omnidirectional mic and I'm talking into it wrong. Oh, it's, it's recording. You yeah. can't hear me that well. Yeah. Come on, welcome to my crib. <laughs> but we do like using our little crayons. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is less so tagging, but just... Well, it's art. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. This is my girlfriend's faded tag. She was here in June when we first moved in. Um, yeah, that's where he lives. <laughs> um, so cool. Can you get the yeah. Oh yeah, we do have, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um. Yeah. I also, there's someone who works at the Flynn that might be good to interview. We're just trying to get to my house right now. Oh, that's fair. (laughs) But there's this, there's this like old man who works at the Flynn, um, who... He likes to collect stickers that he finds in the real world.
Welcome to my crib. Oh god, these stairs. Hello. Everybody home. Smells like pesto. Yeah, they're making pesto. I think they're garlic. This is nice, Matt. Yeah, I didn't decorate any of this. You have it? <laughs> That's curvy, get curvy. Oh, so cute. Hi. This, my friend made this and we put it up. And they made this. And we got this from Bread and Puppets. And I don't know where they got that. This is from BTU and that's a, a tenant thing. Rent Tenants Unite. And, alright, let's go look in the, well, my friend who we were going to interview because we took so long to other houses, but let's look in my kitchen. It's very different. <laughs> we just need to start bringing a shark in my kitchen. Alright, the pasta's done. And the cheese is out, but it's not... I don't know if we'll be able to make... Y'all want to help me make mac and cheese real quick? Uh, what else do I have? This lighter my friend gave me. Bread and puppet stuff. Ooh, let's look at Sophie's uh, screen prints. These right here, Sophie made. Make sure not to fucking boost the shit up. Uh, American Spirit. These are Ooh, blaze up! What is your art? Um, I guess it'd be more specific. What do I do for art? I suppose anything I want. <laughs> I do all sorts of stuff. Uh, right now, this is my um, my take on a yard sale. I suppose I'd call that an art project of sorts. Um, uh, yeah. Any any other questions? <laughs> what are your thoughts on graffiti? Um. I guess I don't really think about it too much. It's getting pretty Halloween-y. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, I'd like to. I would like to believe in ghosts. I think that um, there's some some ghostly things out there. You know, maybe not. Um, the classic definition of a ghost. You know, maybe there's some sort of things otherworldly things that we can't see, potentially. What are your thoughts on the Burlington mayoral run? Um, uh, I mean, I, who's running for mayor? We don't know. Mayoral is not running. Yeah, I heard that, I heard that. He's, uh, he's, he wants to, he wants to be in, like, the state senate or something instead. He's sick of being the mayor. I think, um, what is Johnny Wanzer running for mayor? So I feel like he could be a solid contender if he did manage to figure out a way to run for mayor. I feel like that could be. <laughs> These are some big hot takes. Do you think gorillas are real? I do. I do believe in gorillas, yeah. I suppose, like, is our gorillas Bigfoot? Do you think kids watching Spongebob at a young age had negative effects on them? Um, maybe, maybe. If they, uh, if they start doing the voices, you know, and then can't stop, you know. I, I met someone once who did um, the Spongebob laugh probably too much. I think that affected them socially. Yeah. So I feel like that could be considered a negative effect. But there's also a lot of people who would probably really enjoy that, so they just need to find those people, you know? You can turn any negative thing into a positive thing. Can you do um, a SpongeBob laugh? Um, 
No. No, I feel like that would be too scary. It's good to reach out to neighbors and go inside their homes. Hyde Street has a lot to offer here in Burlington. And we encourage everyone to take a stroll down Hyde when you've got some free time. Stop in at Jay's Man Cave. Door is always open. Go on over to our friend Mac's house. What do you have to say about your house, Mac? Stair staircase goes up to my house. I got a lot of problems with my landlord. Not that many. I like my house. I don't like it that much, though. And Mac might just feed you some mac and cheese.